guys, it's your boy Carter Baby and back with another video. And today, as you saw by the title, I am gonna be unboxing something. I'm pretty excited for this. I've been waiting a long time for this. It is my last thing that will complete my setup and it is a new gaming mouse. I just wanted to unbox it and do a little review, not too in depth, but just a little one, just to inform you if you're like looking to get it. Um, I hope you guys find this useful and um, I found out that 97% uh, of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. <laughs> So it would mean the world to me if uh, you subscribe because we're on the road to 10k, we hit 5k which is awesome. Um, but yeah, so let's keep grinding. So no further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. Okay guys, so here we are at a different angle just so you can see what it actually looks like when you unbox it. It's probably saw by the title, I got the glorious gaming mouse. I got a matte black version. So yeah, that's the kind of gaming mouse. It's one of the lightest mouses on the market. Um, I had a pretty junky cyber power. Boy! wanted something better quality so no further ado let's crack this thing open okay so it comes in this yellow envelope kind of thing and uh i already opened it but i didn't go any farther on this side it's just package information i'm just covering up my address and stuff and yeah it says it comes from uh mccook illinois so obviously that's where the uh glorious factory is so yeah it came from illinois if you're not watching this during uh quarantine it took two days to ship and then came like three days after shipping so it took a, about five to seven days depending on where you live so yeah, it wasn't terrible at all especially with what's going on okay so once you open it here's what comes inside so you just have a little information card thing and here is the mouse wow it's actually a really nice packaging you can see like the prismatic kind of text it's really cool um i got the model d and you can see it's matte black and it's 68 grams which is actually really light and as you can see it has a send on the side it's a logo and you got the glorious another glorious logo just the details about the mouse it's extreme lightweight gaming mouse ascend cord g skates the mouse feet yeah, it's supposed to slide really good. Last but not least, here's the back. Just a bunch of more information. Nothing really important, just specs about it. And there was other there's other models like the Model O and the Model O minus and the Model D. And um the Model O, I was looking into getting that, but um as you'll see, I'm gonna compare the two. Um I don't have the Model O, but I just heard there are some significant changes that make this a lot more worth it and it's the same price the glorious mouses are fifty dollars unless you go with the model d or model o glossy color which is 60 i believe uh, there's four different um color options there is the matte black matte white and then the glossy black and uh glossy white i'll leave the link to the description to this mouse if you're looking to get it and then you could also explore their other stuff they sell other stuff like keyboards and other essentials like that. So yeah, no further ado, let's uh, get this thing open. I just gotta go get scissors real quick, so I'll have them. Three, two, one. Oh! Wow, okay. So here I have my scissors, and I'm just gonna cut this open. So definitely so far, I rate the packaging a 10 out of 10, because obviously it's very tight, very little movement for the mouse and it's a very nice box a few moments later off the bat you can see it it's right here so oh this is so light it's like it literally feels like i'm holding a feather like, stop the cap <laughs> i wish you guys could feel how light this is right now it is so nice okay so set this aside Yeah. Okay. So 
little comes with a little letter it's from glorious pretty nice these are extra skates if you would like to put them on. They're not really necessary, but they're just there if you want them, which is nice. Got a nice prismatic sticker. Definitely put that on my computer. Um, another one. I love stickers. Another letter. Their socials if you want to go check them out. Definitely comes with a lot of stuff. <laughs> And here is their ex their other stuff that I was talking about. Comes with, there's the Model O. You got mouse bungees, more skates, keyboards, keycaps, switches, wrist rests, uh, mouse pads, and um, headset stands. So definitely a good company. And here's more info about the mouse. You have the, it's cool because it shows like what the DPI because it changes colors, I guess, on the bottom and it tells you what DPI it is. And then a bunch of different lighting effects um, and then more, more info. So nothing super important. Now let's get to the mouse. Okay, so here it is. Um, it's really, really light, as I said before. It's like really, really nice. And this is a ergonomic mouse. So if you're wondering, Here's the DPI button to change it. Side buttons, which is nice. ASMR. And there's all sides. And then here's the cord, which is a little tag thing that I'll obviously take off. And I, I don't even have a mouse pad, but this glides really nice. This is just on a plastic table. It glides really nice. And uh, yeah, I'm going to bring this upstairs in a bit. But first, before we do that, I want to show you what the differences are with the Model O. And just a quick comparison. Obviously, you could look for more videos that actually someone has the Model O. But these are the main things that stood out to me when I was looking at unboxings of the Model O and reviews and which one was better. I went with the Model D mainly because the side buttons, they are a lot smaller. I will put a picture up on the screen of what the Model O side buttons are, and I don't think, it's just so much nicer to have bigger side buttons, so then you don't miss them, or it's just a lot more easier to click. Another thing was the right and left click. They were able to move a lot more on the Model O, and these are a lot sturdy. It has a little movement, but nothing compared to what it looks like on the O. It barely has any movement, so very sturdy. But this, honestly, I think it feels nice and fits my hand perfect. It's not too small, it's not too big. And then also, I heard the scroll wheel was a little not as sturdy. This is definitely feels more better quality and much more smooth on the fingers so yeah and the last thing that i heard which made me convinced to go to the model d is because the wire uh was loose and it wasn't really braided nice um because as you can see the the cord is like a mesh kind of type so it's definitely good quality but i'll show a picture on the screen um it was definitely not braided as tightly so they fixed that in the model d and yeah that's pretty much uh the whole comparison from the model o and model d and what made me go with uh the d obviously you don't have to get the model d it's just my preference and i think it's definitely worth it so far so yeah uh no further ado let's go up to my setup and light this baby up and try it out okay guys so as you can see i'm in my room and here's my old mouse it is uh as you can see the cyber power mouse that came with my pc i am using so here's the difference between the two mouses honestly it's so much lighter oh yeah i feel like this will be so much more comfortable and just the appearance i feel like this just looks a lot more better than this big bulky thing and like the honeycomb and i can't wait to turn this thing on so yeah i'm gonna get this thing on so Okay, so as you can see, it is a pretty long wire. I'd say about three feet or so. You'll have a lot of extra wire, so you don't have to worry about it being too tight. And I obviously will curl the extras I don't need up. So I just plugged it into my computer. 
and wow the RG effect, RGB effects make it 10 times better for this price I really recommend I know 50 bucks might sound a little bit on the pricey side but honestly if you're in and you want the performance and you just want to go full-on gaming I really recommend investing into this thing man was this worth it okay and just before I start playing Fortnite the last thing that I want to show you guys is the DPI so all you have to do as as you can see on the sheet this changes the DPI so right here you can see it's glowing red which is the default and then you can click the DPI button once it'll change to green which uh, makes the DPI uh, 3200 then yellow which is the slowest which is 400 and if you didn't know what dpi is it just changes the sensitivity um of your mouse and and then uh next is blue which is 800 and then back to red yeah honestly default is fine doesn't matter it's just your preference which one you would want to play on so yeah no further ado let's get into fortnite okay so here i am i have fortnite up and i don't want to give away too much of my setup uh because i'm going to make a video very soon on that but yeah, so if you want to see that, stay tuned. And uh, if you were wondering, um, for my PC, I have USB inputs on the top, and it did not work. My mouse did not work, so I had to plug it into the back. So just in case you think it doesn't work, um, just try the back of your computer, and that should work. So, yeah. Wow, it's so light. Oh, the editing is so much faster. Wow. It's like so easy to click the buttons. If I could rate it on a scale though on um, on one to ten, I would definitely give it a solid eight point five or nine. Uh, the only thing that I could suggest, uh, or it's just my preference, but I think the side buttons could be moved up just a little bit because I feel like I have to kind of hit this back button like with the middle of my thumb when because I don't have enough time to bring my tip of my thumb all the way back so if it was just up a little bit more it would have been perfect but honestly it's not that big of a deal it's honestly it's every mouse and every keyboard is different so yeah once I get used to it it'll feel normal Okay guys, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy and found that helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, please. That would really mean the world to me. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment down below and I will reply as soon as possible. Nothing really else to be said. Uh, let's get one more look at the mouse. There it is. It goes with my keyboard and everything. So super sick. I definitely recommend it. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the video. So again, I hope you guys enjoy and like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.